Hello everyone, this is System Collapse, and I'm back yet again. Back yet again playing the Sky Factory 3s. And uh, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a busy one. And I got the googly eyes, look at me. All googly eyed and crazy. Look at that, look at that stuff, look at it. It's crazy. I love that mod. It is amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm down by the void. I'm down by the void and uh, got a big one. Busy one planned. Busy, gotta get to it. Yeah, busy, busy, busy video. Hopefully I can get it all in one video. Um, I moved everything that was down here. It is all gone. So, gonna have to find new homes for my ore miners and my quarries and even my nano beacon. I just have three buffs right now. Just three buffs. Um, almost, almost, uh, human again. Or normal? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, what we're gonna get into today. These, these blocks here. Uh, they're turbine housings for extreme reactors. And this is reactor casings. They're basically just to map out what I want to build today. And yeah, we're gonna build uh, some turbines. We're gonna get into extreme reactor turbines. And we're gonna get into four of them, actually. That's why they're laid out this way. And uh, one uh, passively cooled reactor. It's part of the achievements. And uh, I'm gonna build uh, four really efficient ones. Really efficient. It's gonna give us a big jump in RF. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it, but there's a lot to it. A lot to it. So yeah, I've got uh, three vats set up here. I got a Powered Enderman spawner, and actually, while I'm thinking it, gonna make one more spawner here. Two, I probably don't have the levels. Oh, can I have that stuff? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I brought my XP down here. I brought a lot of stuff down here. That's draining the barrel because I'm gonna need a bunch of levels. Uh, should be enough for right now. And uh, I went to the end and got a shulker, and I, whoops, caught him with the, what's that called? Illumination one? No, I did not catch him with Illumination one. The spawner changer. And, uh, yeah. So now we've got a powered shulker spawner. So, that is something we're gonna need today. Uh, do I not have a lever? Oh, I do have a lever. Excellent. Let's get that there right away. Whoops, I don't want that on yet. There we go. Boop, and boop, and boop. That's off, right? Nope, that's on. I don't want it on. Is that one on? That one's not on. Okay. You're not doing anything, right? You're not doing anything? Good. Um, yeah. So what are we going to get to? Well, we're going to get, like I said, four turbines built. We're going to get four turbines built and uh, one passively call cooled smaller reactor. Um, the reason I have all these vats is, well, one of the best coolants, that probably actually it is the best coolant uh, for reactors, is actually the vapor of levity. And it's a three-step process to get to this. It is three-step. It is pretty complicated. And, uh, yeah, that's why I have the three vats set up, just so we can do it kind of quick. But the hard part of it are these grains, these grains. So the first one is just pulsating crystals. Not too bad. I just, you know, got to grind them down in a sag mill. Um, then the grains of the end. These ones are harder. You need uh, enderman souls and vibrant crystals and a soul binder. So I have a soul binder here as well. Uh, then the last stage is, again, more of these grains of uh, pisality, or however you want to pronounce them. I'm not even going to pretend I know how. And uh, presses, grains of prescience, prescience, prescience maybe. And uh, these ones are annoying too. They take the uh, shulker souls. So that is why I have that stuff. That is why I have that. And uh, we're going to get right to it, gathering those souls. So that was the whole point of these. Boop and boop. Capture. That one's on. Why isn't this one not doing anything? Capture. Active without signal. I'll just make it a... No. No. I guess it doesn't matter if I have it on active without signal anyway. Is that going? Yeah, it is. I gotta grab one more octatic really quick. Um, or that's gonna take forever. That's gonna take forever, and like I said, it's gonna be a tight episode as it is, so let's do that. And yes, this is a new island. It is uh, for a future video. Just pretend you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> it'll probably be in the next one. It's actually gonna be our RF Tools Dimension Island, so that is that. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be next episode or the one after. But uh, I think I got everything we need. I, I kinda wanna do this all in one go just one go get it done and uh, yeah that's a thing so we're gonna grab a bunch of these housings 
boop, 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 and boop, and some of these reactor casings. There we go. And I have one of them already. Took me forever to find uh, one of the islands in the uh, the end, one of the cities. Yeah, that took me a while. And there was only like two shulkers there, so that was annoying. It was annoying. Just gonna throw that out there. Six. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's the right height there. And uh, these reactors, I mean, they're not gonna be 100% efficient, but they are pretty friggin' efficient. They're gonna be very efficient reactors, so it is not 100% uh, mathed out. But uh, yeah, I did some testing on them in a test world. Oop, little 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 bit of lag there. There we go. And uh, yeah, they are very efficient. You could do a tiny bit better, but I'm not going to go search the internet on a spreadsheet finding out the last block I need to swap out uh, for the bearing. And uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you will by the time we get through the episode, so don't worry about that. I just got to get, get these casings built up really quick and uh, get to the next part. Boop, 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 and boop. So they're going to be the max length for the turbines you can make them is 16 long so that's what these are they're 16 long you can go much higher uh, I'm not sure I think it might be like 36 high for the turbines but uh, there's really no point um, they max out way before that so you are kinda just wasting materials building them that big they don't scale as well as the uh, just extreme reactors um, but they're still still really good still real good the most they can get is they run off steam basically or sorry they don't run off steam yes they do run off steam don't they they run off steam and uh, that's why you need the other reactor the uh, passively cooled one to produce steam for you but they max out they can't process more than 2000 millibuckets of steam uh, a tick so after that they kind of reach their max scaling which is unfortunate unfortunate because uh, it kind of takes them out of the play for end game reactors unlike the extreme reactor which you know I've seen one of those even in 110 that is about you know over 1.5 million and we will be getting to that for too long for too long but this will knock out two quests for us so that is kinda of my goal that's kinda of my goal and I kinda of want to do this all in one video to show you guys exactly you know how easy this really is once you have the resources and uh, yeah you'll be able to see the tricks of the trade of exactly how it's done and maybe do this yourself this is pretty cool it's gonna look pretty cool when it's done too which is an added bonus add a bonus um, yeah I really like turbines I think they look pretty cool they're animated I mean extreme reactors they're just these big blocks of boredom <laughs> and uh, that's not very fun is it at all Just big boring blocks of boredom these, on the other hand, pretty cool with the animations and the spinning turbines and all that jazz. And I couldn't find much on videos out there for these. I don't know why. No one really likes doing the turbines, but I, I've always liked them. I've always liked them. So this is basically our framework for the turbines here. Uh, we're also going to need... Whoop, I'd rather not die. I don't have my nano beacon flight right now, so it's kind of confusing me. There we go. I think I'm going to have to go at least that height. Or I'm not going to have enough steam. And if I don't have enough steam, I'm going to have to build it a tiny bit higher. Um, I didn't math out the steam. <laughs> so I might be short. But that's an easy fix uh, once it's built. I'll just have to add another layer or two. But I think this should be enough. Because the one I did it in a test uh, really quickly. Um, I didn't use the vapor levity, and that should up it quite a bit. So, boop. So we got this, we got that. Uh, we should probably. Oh, something else I should get going right away is these. So this and mushrooms. Uh, we're gonna get these cooking. Gotta get these cooking right away. Boom. Is that going? Why aren't you going? Go. Do your thing. Put because it doesn't have RF. I should probably turn these on. I set them up and never turned them on. 
There we go. And the longest part of this, and I'm probably going to have to make a cut, is these. Because even though I'm making... Oh, why is it not doing anything? Active hood signal. Do do. That's my Enderman, right? Oh, that's annoying. Uh, okay, I'm going to need a chest first off. Two chests. Because I need those to auto-export. Or that's going to even take longer than I want it to. So let's grab chest. Boop. No, probably need bigger chest. Bigger, bigger the better. There we go. Because I'm not sure exactly the math on how much those recipes produce. Because they don't really tell you in here. I'll show you real quick. It tells you, you know, this makes 2x and 2x. But 2x what? Is that 2 times 100 millibuckets? Is it times 1,000 millibuckets? You don't, it doesn't really math it out for you. So is that the problem? Why, why isn't this one going? Let's just turn those off. There we go. Do that. Give this. And set the outputs to the front. Push. Trying to access the other one from inside the other one. Probably isn't going to work. There we go. And are they producing now? Yes. Excellent. Octatic. That one doesn't have an octatic. Mm. Just when you think you have everything. So that's producing nutrient. That's doing that. Excellent. Okay. Let's get... Which one do I have left? I have two shulkers on me. Those can go in there. And we're going to need fuel rods and the graphite. Where's the graphite? There we go. So the graphite is going to go straight up the center. There we go. One short. These are going to go like this. These are going to be our steam producers. That's the whole point of this reactor. It does its sole purpose in life is to do nothing but make us steam. It's not going to generate us any power at all whatsoever. It just—it's just a big sturm, sturm, sturm. It's a big sturm's turbine. No, it's a steam machine, is what it is. Uh, I think we got everything there. It's probably way too much glass. Actually, it's definitely too much glass. And we're going to need these, these. And this. I think that's everything we need. Did I get the fluid ports? Oh, I definitely need those. Roller, flux, access port. Oh, we're going to need a fluid port for that. I'm going to have to make a fluid port for that. I actually forgot something. See, it doesn't matter how much planning you do. You always forget something. There we go. And what else? I just made a bunch of those because I'm going to need a bunch of them later on anyway when we do the max sized extreme reactor because uh, actually I shouldn't do that. Did I make eight of those? I need more fluid ports too. I'd like to get it all done now so I don't have to do it later. Fluid ports. I got ten of those ones. So I'm going to need... here fluid fluid okay I need eight coolant ports those cheap yes yes okay eight coolant ports and what was the other thing can you guys tell me the other thing I needed so I don't have to go back oh yeah I want another ecstatic <laughs> sometimes I wish you guys were here to tell me I'm so absent-minded and get distracted so easily there we go the little things just to drive you insane. Okay, so we got our fluid ports. And we're going to need them here, 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 and here. Then we're going to need the wrench from extreme reactors. And we're going to go doop and boop and boop and boop. And basically, what these are is this one is going to be for water. So. Water goes into this and it creates steam. Okay? So these are for bringing the water in. But these ones are for pushing the steam out. So they'll push the steam into the turbines and make the turbine spin. Um, it's a closed system. So so I need to feed water into this once 
and then there'll be enough water to move back and forth and it'll never go away. It'll be self-sustaining. So I'm going to need, actually it's a good thing I made. I needed one more port and I've got enough ports now. Um, cause I need to feed the initial water into it. Then after that, it's good to go. It's good to go. And, uh, yeah, these, these, uh, turbines and this will be able to just exchange the water and the steam back and forth and it'll never lose any. They're just kind of self-sustaining and really cool like that. So that is the thing. There we go. Put a glass there because why not? And once I get these around here, boop, boop. And I think we need 16 buckets of fluid of levity. So hopefully, hopefully we can get those done pretty quick. Boop. Did that get it all? Oh, one more. There we go. Excellent. So, all we need is the reactor casing now. Actually, I wanted to use glass. Because it looks neater. The more you can see in it, the better. And if I did everything right, which I didn't, because it still needs, what's it need? It needs the controller. we go. That'll make it turn into a multi-block. Sweet. And the fact that it has these down here tells me that's already um, passively cooled. So that is what we're going for. Um, what else? Because normal reactors don't have those. So they don't have the coolant fluid and the hot fluid tank. So that is the thing. And we don't need power taps. I do need these though. Um, just throw these here. Which way am I facing? Doesn't really matter, I guess. Boop and boop. And there we go. That is done, effectively. It just needs to be filled up with lorium and, uh, yeah, and given water. So that went pretty quick, actually. Oh, I never gave that the ectatic. Let's do that real quick. And grab some eulorium real quick. Boop. And if I'm moving around a lot in this one, I can't really do anything about it. I know some of you guys are like, you move around too much system collapse. Well, this is a busy episode, and I'm trying to get as much of it done while you guys watch without 45 takes. <laughs> so we're going to need a uh, loot crate, and what else? We're going to need the fluid ports. We're going to need the power taps. We're going to need the turbine routers and the controllers. Let's get that stuff set up. So controllers are probably set up right around here. Turbine controllers. Turbine controller. Turbine controller. Yet another turbine controller. And a turbine controller. And I must as well throw the, uh, the ports right here. This will be where I drain the power from. I probably won't need two on each, but for symmetry, we're going to put two. There we go. Uh, I don't know why I made two extras. Don't need them. Those are fluid ports. I did that wrong. I'm a bad man. I have to go around and break all eight. Uh, but we get them in the right place as we go, so not a big deal. Uh, we need one here, and we need one here. But this one needs to match the one on the other side that's blue, so yeah, I changed that. That is why I did that. Boop, and boop. Red, then this one's gonna be blue. Boop. Basically, yeah, you just match them up color to color. And that's the joy of this, because you'll see a lot of people do builds of this. And uh, they have pipes running from a passively cooled into uh, a turbine. And they don't need to be. They can be touching. They can be touching, I mean, and, and feed directly into their, to each other without having to use pipes. And one thing about this pack, and I realized this during my testing, is our pipes in this pack suck. We don't have any good, good, good pipes in this back. Uh, nothing is really that quick. Even maxed out uh, transfer nodes. Uh, nothing can move fluids really quickly. So having this machine being able to touch each other is very, very beneficial. Just let me make sure they're all blue on the right side. Yes, they are. Excellent. We're going to throw in these power taps now. And we can get on the rotor blades. It won't that be fun? Rotor blades, exciting. I know. I'm a, I'm just a man of excitement. 
<laughs> with my happy fun time rotor blades. There we go. Then we're gonna need a couple casings. We need those there. And there. The both ends of the rotors have to have a block. I want to use glass so you can kind of like see all through it. Um, that's kind of the reason I put it down here. It's gonna look it's gonna look badass, quite frankly. But uh, yeah, I wanted to to have the rotor work pro properly. I need to have it like this. So that is why I'm doing that. Uh, I can get rid of that glass and get the other glass now. Did I not make any blades? Well, if I didn't make blades, we're gonna have to make those too. But that's not a big deal. Um, these take cyanite, and I didn't know this at first. I was like, ah, I don't have enough cyanite. But uh, Eulorium and sand, that is cyanite in this pack. That was not at Sky Factory, so I was like, wow. Because I thought I was going to have to make, uh, before in Sky Factory 2.5, you had to make a uh, extreme reactor first to get the cyanite. So in this one, not so much. There we go. That'll be our rotor. Oh. Uh, while we're doing this, before I go make those, I might as well get the Ludicrite in. And the Ludicrite, it isn't too bad. Again, Cyanite, Block Emerald, Nether Star. Nether Star is the big expensive part. Uh, oh, and the Plutonium. But the uh, Plutonium I get from chickens, but you can also make it from Cyanite. So, Lorium and Sand, just bam. And uh, don't have to worry about it. It's just that easy. It's actually really easy in this pack. Uh, I'm going to need this first. Let's get these glasses in. Here we go. Then we'll get the ludicrites in. There we go. We got those done. Boop and boop. I need more than that, but I'll get them all in place, then I can just wand them. Boop. Doesn't matter. And you need. For efficiency sake, um, 32 of these uh, per every 2,000 millibuckets. And you can only do 2,000 millibuckets. And that's where this thing isn't 100% efficient because I think at 32, you are end up a tiny bit over. The, it's hard to explain without them running. There's a happy, happy speed that these are supposed to run at the rotors and when it's completed you'll be able to see that there's like a rotor speed and I think this will get slightly over 1800 which will make it a little less efficient to be perfectly efficient you want it as close to 1800 as possible so yeah that is a thing that is a thing and I'm not gonna do that tiny bit of math to squeeze out you know one more KRF or it probably wouldn't even end up being that much like 500 more RF but uh yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna math that. Oh, let's grab that. That can go in there. And what was the second one of those? That's the grains of the end. Oive. Those are gonna take a while. Vibrant crystal, Enderman. Can you do like a stack at once? Enderman. And what was the other part of that? Boop. And so you just no, that's not right, is it? Boop, boop. Grains of end, end crystal. So I need vibrant crystals. Here we go. Here. Oh, we'll do the whole stack at once. That is beauty. What? I just got robbed. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. I was about to be a very, very bitter human being. <laughs> I thought I cheesed it, and no, no, I did not. That's actually kind of annoying. I just want to get to see what kind of return I'm going to get here. Um, oh no, I need to segment all those down. And see, get an idea of just how many of these I'm going to need. So I'm just going to throw two in here real quick. And kind of watch this because, uh, yeah, I have no clue what the conversion is on millibuckets. I'm hoping it's decent because I need 16 to hit max efficiency. Okay, now that we get all these, 
all these lovely rotor blades. These things are a little wonky to place. Um, they don't want to actually place properly until you have about six of them on there. Just something I've noticed. So they just kind of place and they look wrong even though they're right. So just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. There we go. Gotta do this and that. This and that. And thank goodness for the wand because that makes us save so much time. So much time. Otherwise, this would take forever. The wand is your best friend. It is your best friend. It's the only friend you need. Tell all your, all your other friends to go around, go around, go away. And just tell them, hey, I have a wand. I don't need regular friends. I have a wand. We can get this glass in pretty quick. It's not a big deal. It's actually one of the lesser things. But I want to get them done just to make sure I didn't derp anywhere. Because once those multi-block complete, I know, I know I'm in the right direction. That needs the front, so let's get that done. Go. Please, please. Yes, one done. There we go. And then here we go. This should be the very last of the glass. Last of the glass, and hopefully, completion of this multi block. And it's not. Because I don't have the glass over here. <laughs> and there we go. We get all four of them done. Look at that. All four done. All set up. Ready to go. And uh, we should take a look at these. Just in case you've never seen it before. Uh, this is the turbine control. This is where it shows the rotor speed. This is your fluid intake for your steam. This is the exhaust fluid. Now, you have to have a way of draining the exhaust fluid. Or it'll get gummed up. So the exhaust fluid is just water. Uh, and it has an energy buffer, which is 1 million, but we're not worried about that right now. Okay, and I'm back. I'm back, and uh, I think we're good to go. We're good to go. I think we've got everything we need now. So we've got uh, all our vapors that we need. We're still making more. I don't need any more right now, but uh, get all we need. Uh, you notice the buckets are upside down. This liquid actually flies straight up. If I were to put it down right now, it would go up instead of down. Something to be aware of when you're trying to place it. Because <laughs> you can make a mess with it very easily. Uh, and I need to break this really quick. Boop. Is that the right spot? No. That's a control rod. I need the right spaces. I should actually make sure my magnet's on too. Because uh, I don't want to drop anything in the void right now. Boop. There we go. And I'm picking up junk. Always chicken poop. Always chicken poop. Every time you turn on that magnet, chicken poop finds me. There we go. We're going to have uh, four turbines. Fur. Four. Fur? Fur. We're going to have fur in them. We're going to have four really efficient turbines. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this build. I'm really happy with it, actually. It's going to turn out pretty well, I think. There we go. Go straight up, just like I want you to. And I'm going to need one right here. Get in there. Get in, get in there. Get in there. Get in my inventory. I don't need you right now. There we go. Got to be careful. I don't fall in the void because I am f actually technically in the void right now. Uh, I would rather not die. One thing I didn't explain. And let's explain that. Let's explain that. Uh, these... I didn't explain how I was using these. I actually set these to capture. And if you set these to capture and put soul vials in them, whatever kind of spawners they are, they'll actually catch that type of mod. So that is what I was doing there, that kind of mod. It won't catch any mods. It'll catch that kind of mod. Mob? Mob. There you go. Mob and put it in a bottle. So yeah, that is the thing. That is how I did that. I did not explain that at all. Something I should have done and kind of, kind of skipped out on. Uh, enter fluid, enter fluid. Got the good conduits. Why? What? That is cool import. 
Why, 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 why weren't you connected to that? I'm actually confused. Oh, it's because it's not multi-block right now. Okay. Let's go grab four pieces of glass really quick and just do a quick, quick fix and then get back to it. Boo. That's kind of annoying that creates uh, snow. It's kind of like uh, jelly cryothium except for it flies up. The things you learn. There we go. Put you here. I think this works. So we'll find out in a second. Is this multi blocks now? Yes, it did. It multi blocks, so it is working. Uh, let's get a pipe hooked up. Yep, working like it should. Set it to insert. That is the only problem. Can I reach that from the edge? Please tell me I can reach that from the edge. I don't want to have to break it. Is my auto jump on? That is really frustrating. Uh, <laughs> there we go. That should be filling up with water now. Yes, it is. Excellent. And once that's filled up, I'm going to turn it on. Same 2,000 millibuckets. But uh, I think it's once I turn these on, that'll actually go up. So that one's on. It's got 2,000 steam. Water's fine. Let's try this one. 2,000 steam. Excellent. And 2,000 steam. We might be good on steam. As long as this one gets enough. 2,000 steam. I'm going to do them. check them all one more time. They are all at 2,000 steam. Okay, that thing, I actually probably could have made it. One less high. One less high, and that probably would have been fine. But that's okay. We'll leave it the way it is. Uh, we need to get that out of there now. There's more than enough water in there. It, we should never have to fill that up with water again. And, uh, yeah. It's actually got a little too much water in there. I might have to pull some out at some point. Uh, tons of steam. Tons of water. And uh, these things are going to ramp up. They're going to ramp up. They take a while. This is going to take about probably about 30 minutes before this hits max speed. Um, but yeah. Until we can actually see the max power production. It should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Uh, what else can we do right now? Let's do these. Boop and boop. Grab. I should have an importer and exporter here. I do. Got four buckets now. If I really, I don't want to. I'll switch it over later. I think I am going to put the uh, last corners, fill them with the uh, whatever this stuff's called. Vapor of levity. There you go. Not that it matters. I almost overfilled that with water too. And I think if you completely fill it, uh, it doesn't have any room to actually move water and steam around. So I think you need to leave some of it empty. But uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's okay. We didn't do too much. Go and that'll bump up. I don't know if this is normal. You guys can tell me. Does this always do hearts? It didn't do this in 2.5. Or is this just because I'm recording on Valentine's Day? I really need to know because that's driving me crazy. I I, I mean, I, I like hearts and all, but uh, yeah. Why? Why? And I didn't, uh, I was going to explain the rotors. It'll tell you right here. Rotors perform best at 900 or 1800 RPM. The way this one's set up, it's going to go up to 1800 RPM. Uh, the part where it says rotors kept over speed for too long may fail. That doesn't happen. It was never actually put in the mod. It was something that was going to be put into the mod. Uh, not even this one. It's going to be put into big reactors. And this is a port of big reactors. It's now extreme reactors. And that's just left over. And uh, it was never implemented, so yeah, this this will never blow up. Don't worry about it. You're good. Yeah. What was I doing? I was doing that one is the exporter. This one is the importer. Okay. So it'll just import it, and we'll make it export. I just need one. I gotta wait until one. Uh, Cyanite comes out, then set the filter, and this is already good to go. This will, yeah, pull, exporter, exporter, exporter. I need, uh, that's what I need. Boop. Need the filter in that. I don't need a filter at all. 
I was being crazy. Boom. There you go. It's already filling up. There we go. That'll keep it full of your Lorium, and it'll pull the cyanide uh, uh, automatically out. So that's already taken care of. This will always stay full. Uh, these are already moving pretty fast. They're ramping up really good, actually. And uh, it will take a while. And uh, I might do a cut and come back and just show you guys the uh, final RF counts. And, uh, yeah, this is this is pretty amazing. This is why I wanted to move everything out of here because I think that looks pretty pretty part of my French, but badass. That looks badass. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. It looks good. I love it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be back once these things are going full tilt. Hello, and I'm back. I'm back, and yeah, look at these things go. Look at them go. Look at them go. i just been watching them. I haven't done anything. I've just been watching these things, and they're going insane. This is crazy. Uh, yeah, they're going fast. They're not maxed out yet. They still got a ways to go, um, but it's taking a long time now. This is ticking up really slow. These will tick up to the point of about, about mm, tick out to the point where they're making close to 30,000, probably about 29 and a half at max. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna go pretty good. They're gonna go pretty good, but I have identified a problem. One of the reactors is actually low on steam. Not much, it's just lower than the rest. And that's because, well, after everything leveled out, I'm actually not producing enough steam. I need to up it a little bit more. Um, one more layer on this is going to fix that though. So instead of a 7x7x8, seven by seven by which is what I built this, uh, a 7x7x9. Seven by seven by and uh, we should be good to go. We'll have all the steam we need. So yeah, I'll have to do that in between videos just to make everything work nice and smoothly. And uh, then I'll be able to just leave it. Just leave it and forget it. But yeah, that is awesome. I think this thing looks amazing. I love that I was able to do this in one episode. I think it was pretty cool. And uh show off turbines because everyone everyone just jumps the big reactors because they're easy and 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 they're boring to me they're boring to me i am gonna do one i gotta do one for the achievement anyway uh the max sized one um filled with diamonds i think it is is that what it is oh well we've done that now so let's check that off and pass we did that now we haven't done active yet. No, no, no. We haven't done that. We've done this. I think there's one for diamonds. I think you got to do diamond one. Almost positive. Yes. Use diamond blocks to cool a maximum size reactor. So when we do the max reactor, we'll do it entirely with diamonds. Make the inefficient one and uh, <laughs> do that and get it done. But uh, there's two more achievements done. Two more achievements done. Don't have to worry about it. We're good to go. And uh, we're on our way. We're on our way to getting a... Uh, Getting the, the max reactor done too, because part of the reason I wanted to do this one, uh, get more power anyway, was to make sure we had enough power for our RF tool worlds. And uh, once this is running at full tilt, it's about 120,000 more RF. And uh, see, this this is the one that's running a little 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 low, a little low. This one's got less than the rest. Um, oops, stop that. Stop that, sir. Yeah, because this one is about 28, and that'll keep going up quite a bit. They'll get about 29 and a half. But, uh, yeah, we'll have enough enough power for our RF tool worlds without and not have to think about it. That's the main thing I was, I was, I was thinking about with this and getting the achievement done, of course, and doing something that's cool for the base because I think this just looks awesome down here. It looks better than having the dragon pin down there. And uh, where's all this XP coming from? Random mobs are spamming me. But anyway, <laughs> I think it looks pretty pretty amazing down there, especially once I clean up that platform and stuff. I think it's it just it just looks so good. My base, my base, I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. There's some things I could change, but I'm so happy with the way things are turning out. And uh yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this video here though. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna in between videos, fix this up, fix that up. I don't think I'm gonna do much more. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the next video is going to be. It may be RF tools or, or not, <laughs> but, uh, not RF tools, RF, yeah, RF tool dimensions, I guess. But, uh, yeah, 
We'll get into something. We'll get into something for sure. It'll definitely be tomorrow. There'll be no space between episodes. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of these episodes out because I've been neglecting them. We just had a giant storm too, so that is the thing. Any of you guys on the East Coast probably had it too. Yeah, we just got nailed by almost a meter of snow. To you people that don't know what a meter is, that's that's like a yard. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to take off here. As always, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button as always. It's much appreciated. And you get to see awesome things like this and other stuff. And you get to see me derp a lot because that's what I do. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave that there. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. And I'm going to take off. Later. <laughs>